Welcome, welcome to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Esme. And I'm Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to Roger and Esme Vlogs. So today's topic is actually we got it at our life. <laughs> yes. So is living together before marriage is a sin. A sin or is it um, a big deal here in the Philippines if you are not, not married? married? Yeah, so let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Before so, that, before anything else, we would love to say thank you so much for our all the new subscribers. Thank you for your support, your generosity, and your kindness. And I hope that you would uh, be with us forever, <laughs> forever. <laughs> yes. So without further ado, let's talk about this subject today. Yes. So. Um, yeah, first and foremost, we can relate to it because we're yeah, living we together. Yeah, we can really relate to it. So, <laughs> first and foremost, if we're going to base on the, the church teaching, it's really a sin because it's or it violates God's commandments. Yes, and the true. teaching of the church. Yeah. So, even also like in old ways or old generation. As we all know that before they live together, they settle down first. Like they will be like um, do everything, like process everything to get married. Yes. That's the old generation or old ways. Yes. Because true. they follow the, the church teaching. Yeah, they follow the rules. Of the church. Yeah, and they're afraid to violate the, the rules or the commandments of God. Yes, because religion is really important here in the Philippines. It's really important before, and up until now, it's still important. But, of course, changes is constant. Yeah, so generation... Um, generation to generation... Has changes. Yeah, they they try to pass to the young ones or the young generation, but um, it is what it is. There will be changes, right? Yes. And uh, right now, for the young generation, uh, even me or us, we yeah. are not married yet, but we're living together. Yeah, we already we're have living together. Kid. Yes, and of course, we have plans to get married. Of course. But as you all know, marriage is a big step. It yes. needs to have the fundamentals and you have, like your relationship needs to be strong before getting married. Because it's not just eating rice and you can spit it out. Yeah, right after. If you don't like, you know, you can spit right away. Yeah. So it's not like that. And uh, right now... Um, so we still base right now here in the Philippines. We have we always said that we there's a lot of single moms because they they don't they never plan right. They just jump right away. So now, um, before getting married, it's better to really plan what you said, which I agree with that to avoid any like problems in the end. True, because. As for me, I'm very practical. I don't want to rush Roger in getting married because there are situations, of course, me and him, we're already serious together. Like we we want to get married because we're already like we know each other through and through. Like we know each other, like e even our secrets. He knows my secret. I know his secret. So, you know, we have plans, but I don't want to pressure him because there is always a time for everything. Yes, and we always think um, and prioritize, like, which is, like, more important for our future. So, yes. yeah, we have, we have big plans that we really have to achieve first before getting married. True. So, is that right now for us? It's not a big deal, as long as you love each other, you respect each other. So, it's not that for me. It's not that really important. Yes, but 
It's well, just like the paperwork, you know. True. Yes, just like the paperwork. So you're just registering yourself. Yeah, that you are legal, like legally married. Married, like husband and wife. So you yeah. can really call it like husband and wife because uh, you're registered. Yes, and in anyhow, in the Philippines uh, right now, if you're not married, it's not a big deal. It's not a problem at all. Yeah, because uh, it's already popular right now that you're living in together. It's really, um, it's, I think it's like a beginning. Because in Japan and Korea and other Asian countries, they would live together before getting married. They would prioritize first. The only thing about Filipino is, this is the common mistake of Filipinos. And me and Roger would also yeah, we 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 are also not denying it that we have a mistake. So we have a mistake that we didn't plan, like to have a house. Like we didn't, we we didn't put in the house right away. Like we we didn't have that, like all the necessary things to to build for a family. Because most Japanese Koreans, they would already have houses. Right. They yeah. would settle down everything before, before like, getting married. Or getting married. Yes. Or they, for living together. They so, settle down everything. So that's the common mistake of Filipinos. Yeah. It's just that um, we don't have like enough money to like, you know, let's say build a house or something. So yes. in the long run, they will... Um, plan together and then building those like let's say house in the future yeah so um yeah well because in our mindset right now because if we would not build a family maybe it would be too late for us because planning or settled putting in the necessary needs like a house you need a stable job everything it would take years for you to do so and most Filipino think that if I reach 30 and 30 plus, we think already that, oh, I cannot produce a baby anymore. It's like that in the Philippines. So that's the reason why we prioritize having family right away. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> yes. You're right. And uh, in addition to that, um, we notice also that there are like foreigners here in the Philippines, which like they're not married yet. So yeah, they okay. don't plan to get married. If you, if you have a problem with that or question about that, that foreigners like allowed to you know have a wife and then you know living together without marriage, so they'll be fine. Here. It depends on the woman, of course. Yeah, Every it, woman wants. To get married every woman as i said in the life every woman wants to get married every woman wants to okay walk through the aisle but really depends on her perspective some women can be patient and they can uh, wait until you're ready to get married some women are already discouraged because you've been together for many years yeah, like my sister. Yeah. Uh, it's like more than 10 years they get married. So um, I think it's it's like about the plan, yeah. not, not just to rush, you know, things. So if you rash things, um, there will be my, you know, consequences. problems or consequences in the end. And for foreigners, you know, don't worry about it here in the Philippines. It's not a big deal anymore as long as you love each other. Yeah. And you respect each other. It's fine because it's yeah. your it's own your choice. choice. It's your decision to, to to do like that. Yeah, it's it really depends on you. But of course I hope and I pray that you would get married or you would end up marrying that Filipina that you have in a relationship for like a long time already because of course every girl's wish or every woman's wish is to get married someday yeah human as we are though we try our best to follow the commandments of god but yeah 
it is what it is and for the people um, once again in the Philippines it's not a big deal anymore yes so again guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope that you liked it and yeah we're trying our best to create a new topic for you so again see your next vlog bye, bye. see you